I went to coinmarketcap.com and I noticed that there was like at that point, maybe under 100 uh, cryptocurrencies out there. Um, and I noticed the new one was being added pretty regularly. And um, at the same time, the Doge meme was like kind of taking off. And uh, Adrian Chan, uh, a journalist over at Gorka, had written this article basically saying Doge is the best meme uh, because it's kind of this uncorruptible uh, face. You cannot kind of take uh, Doge and like, you know, Doge can't become Pepe. It's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and so I just had those two kind of tabs open in my browser and, and Doge and coin just kind of blended together. And so <laughs> it started as a tweet, just like me, um, kind of in Australia, we have this thing called taking the piss, um, which is really just kind of throwing shade at something or just like making fun of something. And, uh, I just, you know, did this piss take tweet, uh, where I was like, going to invest in Dogecoin. I think it's the next big thing. And, uh, that, that kind of sparked the whole thing. The reaction was very much, um, a lot of, there were a few people that were like, oh my God, create this. Um, and then I guess it got shared around in some like crypto circles on IRC and stuff. I was like, I'm going to, you know, register the domain dogecoin.com because somebody else is going to steal it. So I may as well. Um, and then I just put, I, I went into kind of Photoshop and put a, Trend, you know, fifty percent opacity image of the the dog over a like a Google image search of a coin, and just threw it up on like this static HTML page, um, and it just said, you know, Dogecoin is the parody cryptocurrency favored by Shiba Inus worldwide, and um, and I didn't think much of it. I was just like, it was a joke, and a lot of it was a joke between me and my friends as well, because like we were all kind of making fun of crypto back then, um, and so we shared it around. Like whenever anybody asked about Bitcoin, I'm like, haha, look, Dogecoin, and then. In this hyper condensed period of time, um, that kind of got shared more and more and more and more within actual crypto circles and IRC and stuff. And then this random dude uh, called Billy uh, pings me on Twitter with a screenshot and is like, hey, uh, you can change the, the, the font in the Bitcoin uh, QT client to Comic Sans. We should make this a real thing. And so that kind of, you know, was led me down the, the spiral.